They took them in a big bus. They all had them um, lined up. They all have them lined up. They tied their hands behind their back. And good evening. An immigration raid in Sandusky is making national headlines tonight. Agents arrested more than 100 working for the same gardening company. It's all part of a Trump administration crackdown on companies that hire undocumented workers. Our consumer investigator, Danielle Serino, joins us live in Sandusky with what went down and the implications for everyone involved. Danielle, good evening. Hi, Russ and Sarah. We're here at U.S. Customs and Border Protection in Port Clinton, where we're told some of the detainees were taken. And there we ran into employees and loved ones desperate for answers about their family members and how they were doing. They were turned away with no answers. All I was thinking about is my mom, because I didn't know where she was at. I can't. And also my sister, because I didn't know where my sister was at either. <laughs> and seeing everyone just crying just made me really sad. <laughs> Knowing that they were going to take some people away. Salma Sabala works at Corso's Flower and Garden Center in Sandusky, along with her sister and mother. She started shooting on her iPhone when the immigration raid went down early this morning. She told us undercover officers showed up in their break room, pretending to offer donuts before chaos erupted their arms they had the dog you would hear the helicopter at the top of the top of us this is video taken by a 15 year old boy after we're told he and others were round up and separated into groups of those born here and immigrants if i don't see you guys anymore i love you guys <laughs> please take care of my kids rosa ramos describes the text her stepdad sent before he took this picture of himself on a bus headed to michigan it's the second time he's been deported most immigrants come here for a better life, come here to work, provide for their family that they have in Mexico, for their children that they have here. Immigrations and Customs tells us 114 undocumented immigrants were arrested at two of Corso's locations, where they also seized documents. Do you know where they took everybody? We have no comment at this time. Employees at Corso's wouldn't talk to us, and only hours after the raid, it was business as usual. But not for the families of those detained who showed up at the ICE Border Patrol office in Port Clinton, where we're told some were taken. I asked Rosa what she would say to people who believe these employees, including her stepdad, were here illegally and shouldn't be allowed to stay. But once they have something happen to them, the same thing, they'd probably know what it feels like. Most immigrants know what this feels like, and they know the struggle. We are told that some people got a heads up about the raid and did escape with family and friends. Russ and Sarah. Danielle, what about the company that actually hired these workers? Will they be facing any charges? Yeah, ICE tells us that the employer uh, is being charged or they're pursuing charges on a number of issues, including harboring and employing undocumented workers, as well as fraud related to their identification documents. Reporting right. live from Port Clinton, I'm Danielle Serino, Channel 3 News. All right, Danielle, thanks a lot.